So do we understand that? And there is also a nomenclature that we should understand. It is flux in A due to current in B. So I call it MAB. You know? So when you have maybe 15 circuits, you will like to know which M is what? You know? This M links to what? It it links which circuit to which you understand so 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 the nomenclature goes like that this is the this is the flux in circuit a and this is this is due to current in circuit B okay so if I wanted flux in A due to current in C it would have become M A C correct and what will you do you will multiply M A C by I C and you will start getting flux in circuit A you understand the simplicity why we why we bothered to define a whole new term and we are dealing with it just due to this just to calculate okay hmm? no they do not use it but but all all the higher books where the moment you step into into a, any graduation course you'll immediately be be encountering psi okay you'll be encountering Psi. So this thing has to be very clear in your mind. If that is clear, then you will be able to work very smoothly with inductances. Okay. We understand. Now, before I move on to, to a higher level, let me tell you this. Obviously, due to this circuit, see? Due to the current in this, there will be a flux linked with this circuit as well. It, it, it creates a field and that field is also linked by the same circuit. No? It itself links that field. So obviously, there will be an induced EMF in this same circuit due to the field that is produced by itself. What I mean to say is there'll be a there'll be also a thing like M A A flux in A due to current in A itself. Or A, whatever. M B B. There'll be also M A A. There'll be M C C. Okay? This is called self inductance why why self because the current is from itself it is the self current correct so mbb is called the self inductance and at times they are given a different symbol denoted by l they are denoted by L. So will there be flux related to B due to the flux generated by B in A and the current generated by A? That also happens, but we do not go that far. That also starts happening. But 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 that, but that we take into account. For this we, we take that into account. For everything that is there. See, because, because it, it goes to infinity then. What happens? There is, there is a current here that links a flux here, that flux generates a current there, that links a flux here, that, that generates another current. And But we are talking about the phenomena in steady state. When, when things are, that actually happens. That actually happens and it, it looks so complex that, uh, that you, you feel like not even calculating it. But that actually happens. What we are talking about is in the steady state. In the steady state okay so 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 
so what happens my my inductance my mutual inductance is n phi a upon i b that is m a b correct that is what is called m a b fine now obviously inductance inductance so so let me let me sort of hmm? this was where we started the concept of inductance so inductance is nothing but the flux linked divided by the current okay so inductance is inductance is inductance is it is flux linked in circuit b m b a upon current we have been discussing that so let us continue with that current in circuit b this is a scalar quantity what is the dimension what is the unit unit is weber per ampere is it not unit is weber per ampere this is also called henry denoted by henry now since one henry is a hell hellishly large inductance okay so we, you you normally we dealing with hmm, milli henrys or or micro henrys milli henry is how much 10 to the power minus 3 henry 10 to the power minus 6 henry okay hmm same same as capacitors okay so so milli henrys and micro henrys what is the dimension what is the dimension can we calculate the dimension yes you should you should be able to calculate it weber is what b into a right weber flux is b into a what is b what is b how how do i convert b yeah totally sorry b in your a was huh a will get why a is not it is weber per ampere why oh. it is not area mu not right huh mu not yeah or or you can go to f is equal to ilb is it not so b is equal to b is equal to f upon il now f f you know so f is what newton per ampere into into length meter now newton itself is what kg meter per second square is it not so it is kg meter per second square upon ampere meter mm cancel a is meter square right so meter square so what do we get this is area this is area wala hai no oh. phi is b into a so what happens it is kg this is amperes fine so so don't confuse this is actually actually amperes 
which is coulomb per second right so so let me write coulomb per second so what do we get kg meter square per second per coulomb that is phi for you right kg is it ampere used in dimension wait is kg Yes, ampere is used in dimension. So um, actually, uh, that was creating a confusion regarding area. So, so fine. So kg meter square per ampere per second square, and that gets multiplied by a to the power minus one. Is it not? So dimension becomes kg. Okay, L square. So so let me write that kg meter square per ampere per second square into per ampere. So that becomes kg meter square ampere to the power minus two s to the power minus two, which is which is what m m L square a to the power minus two s to the power minus two. Uh, uh, it is not s. We use t. Okay. M L square a to the power minus two t to the power minus two. That is the dimension of of the of the of the induction, right? Be aware. We will be dealing with smaller quantities like milli Henry. Micro Henry, like that. Okay.